it was news that came out yesterday of a TikTok video that went viral. Um, and the TikTok video basically shows uh, a Chinese New Year show, clearly a Chinese New Year celebration at Tuas Dormitory, um, where uh, migrant workers in the audience are watching a performance on stage. And what what is what was being performed on stage, Andy? Um, it is um very professionally done pole dancing in not a lot of clothes yeah. <laughs> by a very pretty girl. Yeah, exactly. Pretty woman. It's a pretty yeah. woman. Um, I think the video came out on twenty first January. By twenty third January, it already had like a f- more than a hundred thousand views on TikTok. Um. And I mean, she performed the routine. It's maybe like a minute long video. Uh, and it was taken from the back of the audience. So you can see some of the reactions of the audience members. Like. <laughs> and it's clearly a Chinese New Year celebration. Because on the back of mm-hmm. the board, it says Chinese New Year celebration 2023. So clearly done this year. Uh, what, were your, what were your thoughts when you first saw this video? Oh, let me give you... You know the video is taken down. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't know. No, I was looking at it this morning and it's not there anymore. Oh, okay. It's but it's still it's still down. online oh. because the internet never forgets. It's on. It's still on Reddit. Yeah, it's still on Reddit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's still on Reddit, but it's not on TikTok anymore. Mm. Um, yeah. So when I first saw this, I thought, nice lah, no bad one. <laughs> <laughs> please explain, Andy. Please yeah. explain, explain. No, I mean, I feel like so like Chinese New Year, you just do whatever makes you happy, la, right? Like it's so harmless. It's like But what you know, part of like, the performance says Chinese New Year? What? The red high heels is it? There is no rules about Chinese New Year. Chinese New Year is just about being happy and making a lot of noise and and you know, very hot, very prosperous and you know, why do you think what's the point of firecrackers? But that's why firecrackers are banned in Singapore, bro. Not because of the noise, because of so-called the danger, right? Yeah. It, I mean, it has always been, you're supposed to make a din, right? To scare away the bad, bad things. Yeah, yeah, correct. That is a cultural thing, right? So what, what's wrong with dancing and, you know, like people are happy and everyone's happy. The dancers being paid, the migrant workers get a night of happiness, you know. So but I, I really don't see the point. I showed my wife and she said like, very mal what? So they nothing. feel offended, uh, you know, thousands of years of Chinese culture just like... It, it, offended? <laughs> Those people who are offended, they watched it already. <laughs> After they enjoyed it, then they were offended. Like, let, me, let me watch it again to find out how badly offended I am. Yeah, yeah. I want to be offended again right now. No. Let me go get offended. Like, don't, please don't get... There are a lot more things, other things that are being worth your feeling of offendedness <laughs> so so when i watched it i found it more funny if anything yeah. maybe it's because like you can almost tell that this is going to be a, a polarizing video uh, people are mm-hmm. going to have their thoughts about it um, and for me i did find it a bit weird um, i wouldn't say i'm offended but i found it a bit weird for chinese especially when the, the fucking board behind this chinese u.s celebration and then you have okay you have a chinese woman <laughs> pool dancing i just found that whole image just hilarious la. um and i mean on tiktok or, or like reddit you see the comments you get some weird ass comments also like some people saying oh yep. you know um a lot of migrant workers are religious and this will be offensive to them i'm like you have no idea okay you have no idea um but so <laughs> you have no idea as in you have no idea whether they're offended or religious or yeah what? exactly like you have no idea what they're thinking oh, um, you're just talking out of your ass la, basically well, yeah, la, you mean the commenters? Uh, yeah, the commenters. Oh, yeah, la, yeah, la. they are basically projecting okay. themselves on it, on, on, on what the, mm-hmm. the feel la, they feel. But then, okay, so if you were the organizer of the event and one of your mm-hmm. your team members come and say, uh, boss, I think for this Chinese New Year celebration, you know, we are coming out of COVID, the first time we can celebrate Chinese New Year, I think to commemorate mm-hmm. it, right? Let's not do a lion dance. Let's do mm-hmm. a pole dance. And uh, mm-hmm. it will be entertaining for sure. The audience will like it, but uh, and it will be a Chinese woman, so there's that bit of cultural heritage there. She'll wear red hit heat right high heels. Care or not, boss? How much? Sure. Uh, negotiable. <laughs> Make negotiable. it two dancers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I'm gonna 
I'm gonna throw some historical please please do please <laughs> evidence educate uh. my like, uninformed I mean, ass look like you have a bunch of men right working hard here yeah. away from their family from their wives yeah you gotta give them some relief, right? You gotta give them some morale boost, right? This is this has been happening since the time of men, right? Like during the Vietnam War, during any war, you have them. The U- U.S. government was sending them dancers and stars, dressing sexily to boost their morale. When I was in the army, I was in the performing troop, right? Mm. And Nobody would care when we were <laughs> dancing and performing. <laughs> but when the female dancers were there, oh, it's not a migrant worker thing. It's a man thing. All the all the NS boys were like, whoa, whoa. Then when I'm on stage. <laughs> and I mean, this is as normal as it comes, you know. And the dancer is not. She is a professional, yeah, right? Yeah, she, she is. She's not just like doing rubbish, you know. She's... Whatever she's doing, it's there's craft in it. There is beauty in it. I mean, wh- why not take the positive? But don't I you? I mean, I would lah. Do, yeah. But don't you think that it's a it's a way to kind of like it's a it's an opportunity to share a bit of of how you say uh, culture or Singapore life or or Luna New Year or something because there were other performances mm, like Maybe there was a skit about how to behave well <laughs> before the dance i don't know i mean maybe there was a i don't know like chinese dance troupe from some secondary school before i i don't know i mean just we're just looking at one part of the whole performance yeah, correct, right? anyway correct. If, even if it's the whole show is like that <laughs> i really don't have a problem now because the point of a holiday is just to let people relax and be happy right and they really look like they're having a great time <laughs> No, because some people point to to apparently one of them in the video looked mm. embarrassed and he was closing his eyes and turning away. Yeah. Again, I'm like, you have no fucking yeah. idea. Like, um, um, but it, it was just, I still, it, it still strikes me as a bit like, uh, I mean, I I get how like it's a moral boost and, and all that. I just never thought. Okay, maybe it's this. I never thought it would happen in Singapore. Uh, mm. at this point in time, lah. Um. That being said, no lah. Like, uh, uh, I, I think, I think if you live in the world of social media, you have very warped view of like, oh, what, what, what people won't do because they just know it'll be cancelled. So when this came out, I'm like, okay lah. So, so, I was just damn surprised lah. Well, like, were you, were you, mm. when you saw this, were you like, wow, this still happens in Singapore? You're like, oh, okay, that's cool. I mean, I, I'm no, I'm not surprised. I mean, this has been happening, right? What I, what I'm worried now is that whether any authorities is gonna step in and put an end to it, lah. Mm, mm, mm. You know, when a minor, the minor vocal, the vocal minority makes noise, right? Mm. Actions are taken, lah. And I'm not a fan of that. Yeah, yeah. And I, I'm I'm worried that this is gonna happen here. 